Danger Island. Man, when it came to working on this video, I definitely had a good time doing so. There was, uh, let's see, this is probably one of the, one of the very first ones. It wasn't the first one since I know the Patrick Brady, the zookeeper storyline was, storyline, <laughs> comic book side story was the one I started off with. It was probably the second or third at least. So the story revolves around a couple, a couple who went to an island that can only take up to 10 couples in there as a hell of a vacation, a private resort, if you'd say. You got Stan, who's, he's in the military, I believe. Yeah, she says, big tough guy, big tough army guy is afraid of sharks. <laughs> These two characters were pretty cool. I only wish that Capcom would acknowledge the characters from the comic book adaptations. I believe they deserve some recognition. I mean, these stories are unique. Like this one, being in an island. An island that only takes up to ten couples. Damn. And then look at that. You got a, a plane that crashes that contained liquors. I don't know where it came from or whatever. Like, just point is, this story is about to get even better. If you thought that it was just going to have a few zombies roaming around, just since, uh, you know, it could have been just a couple, a different couple that was in that island that ended up getting infected somehow. And now that the status tubes have been broken, that's a that's a cool picture of a liquor. Kind of looks like the the one from its what makes these creatures far its worse uh, is that concept art, doesn't it? With the from the video game. And not the T virus. So the host <laughs> using this image as an example about the liquors and what the infection comes from there. Uh, like if you survive an attack of theirs, what will they do? What will happen to you? Stan and Leslie reached the shore. That's a that was actually a bit of a problem. It was it was a bit confusing with this story because they said that the that the the liquors contained the G virus. No, no, that's not true. Stan quickly gets a not true. But I can see why they thought it was since the G virus was introduced in part two, and at the time of this comic book, they didn't really have much to work with back then, so they had to improvise. Same goes with the uh, Resident Evil 2 Manhua series, as I've explained in a previous video, where we, we see so many bizarre transformations of Mr. X and the T Ws. And right here we got the infected, let's see, like all the animals that are in that island have become a hazard. Especially starting off with this eel. Now, since the story got it a bit wrong and they thought that the liquors infect you with the G virus, that that electric eel ended up having like the whole shoulder eyeball and and that same mutation as the G virus. Again, they did not have much to work with, so they tried they tried to improvise. Like this scene right here, they I, I like this scene where she finds a blue herb and uses it to to heal herself from the bite she got from Ace the zombie. Even though the blue herb is meant to be used for poisons. But then, you know, uh, let's see, Resident Evil 2, like even the developers changed that around. By now, if you've seen the Resident Evil 2 remake, the blue herb no longer heals you from poisons. It instead just gives you a, a boost in defense. Yeah, that, that doesn't work well, right? Like it sounds better if it works for poisons, but since Resident Evil 2 remake did not include poisonous creatures such as the giant snakes, a large rock they gets just decided to scrap Stan's that. Foot, Even though I, I think they still could have poisoned you if they used a uh, poison top, effect from the the like plant creatures. No but I can't talk about that since this is all about with this story. Not too far off and we're, we're coming close to the, near the end now. It's the <laughs> so far so good though, right? And they'll be able to send out a Starting off with the background music. I hate that it's a little too loud. I, I know I should have tweaked that up. But since this was one of the early videos starting off. When it comes to editing, it's hard to tell though because... If you put on headset, like a headset or earphones, the background music sounds different from when you're listening to the to the video on on a like a stereo. Same thing goes for when you're watching these videos on on your phone. The audio is is different. Sometimes the sound effects sound louder than they should, and if you hear them on a on like earphones, it doesn't sound as loud as the audio does. So even though I try balancing it out, the audio is uh. It's hard working with with the sound, basically, because sometimes it sounds certain things sound louder if you're watching the video on earphones, speakers, or you know, just on your phone. 
But then this part when the when the right liquors reveal themselves, man, I thought they were completely dead in this part. I mean, if a liquor is hard to kill when you have a gun, imagine not having a single gun around here, not even a knife. This innocent couple. And then being then surrounded the by three of them, damn. And the They're lucky that this eel, eel was like, and all the <laughs> was like dead them serious on trying to kill these guys. The it's funny how it just escape. continued going the after them throughout the entire Stan story, Stan ever since it was attracted to Stan's blood, you know, in the beginning. The that was really cool. That's another reason why this story feels like it's quite underrated, since not many people really know about it. And these are characters that need to be referenced in a later game, Capcom. Acknowledge these, because these storylines are this worth works, telling but it they're worth sharing that's why i had to make vid videos about so it's not these stories and narrate them because i knew they needed to give him the they, we needed to shed some light into them i'm just glad that my execution worked out and you guys are enjoying it and that was pretty cool right there how it used that as a way to injure it kind of like a bear trap have you seen the edge if any of you guys have seen the edge you'll, you'll know what i mean, what I mean. But this finishing him off with this, back, that is priceless. How else was he going to finish metal. them off, right? You don't know because he doesn't have a machine gun nearby. From Stan's location, you can hear that Being Leslie able to do this while injured. I hate that I did not show his uh, and the attack that he received by the infected eel. Stan That's why I'm, uh, while I'm watching this, I feel like maybe I should Leslie rework on this video and include that, that scene where the eel attacks Stan. And add some sound effects as well, and maybe see if I can tweak the background music and kind of lower it. Or I don't know if it works with the the right amount of volume it's at at the moment. Again, it's hard to tell when you're listening to when you're watching this video, and you're getting the audio coming from either speakers or earphones or headphones, or just coming out of your phone itself, the speakers of your phone. And they're all it's always different. The entrance to the communications building. And this ending, man, one of the best endings in one of these side stories of the comics. And even I like it, even though it's a, it's like a bit of a sad ending, but if you look at the symbol, uh, an unfortunate ending, as you'd say. It's uh, it's nonetheless a good ending, especially since you get this cameo of Dr. William Birkin by the end, doing what he does best. We've just done an aerial search. And uh, let's see, to to conclude this story, I would say that I'm quite impressed. As good as, as it is, it does have its flaws, such as the fact that all these animals are already infected. Maybe the liquors got to them quick. I don't know. This is where the story ends. Um, we did not see any other couples. In this shot right here, you can see to the left corner, bottom corner, that there was some... Uh, let's see. I don't know if that was the communications area that was shown right there. It was pretty far. You can't really tell. You can't really tell where they land, but I was thinking that maybe there were other people out there. We didn't really get to see anyone except for Ace before and after he was infected. Like the one seen in the original Resident Evil trilogy. It's cool to see hmm. the healing items from a game be utilized in a The blue herb was another thing where it, it did a different a kid, effect. It healed her regular plant. zombie as wound. You think they but, I mean, at least they did show us how they, <laughs> as I mentioned in the video, at least they did show us how they use it, how they apply a herb to themselves. Either smoking, grinding, or just eating it, or whatever they would have to do. But then they show us that, yeah, she just wipes it on, on the wound. Which is neat. Kind of like, uh, I mean, why wouldn't it work, right? If if poison I if poison oak can pretty much you know affect your affect you just by contact to your skin, then it makes sense to why these herbs can also help you out if you if you apply them on your skin on the on the infected areas, basically. I know I got those those animals' names wrong. I said cheetahs, infected cheetahs. That could be a little more oh boy. interesting. Certain areas of the Man, island no video is ever items to help you is ever perfect, right? Home. But what lies Although I do remember trying my ass items. off to make this video like this would be as good as can be. But game. funny, yeah, now after yeah. seeing this but video anyways, like a year later, I can tell that there were some things that there are some things I would like to add. But that's that video. <laughs> there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. I wasn't expecting to to reach the end. Most commentaries would end up ending maybe halfway through for sure. But this is it. We reached this end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let's see. Shout out to McLovin for requesting it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.